Mac in Arizona on, says, my 18-year-old son is receiving a $100,000 settlement from a car crash last oh, year. Oh, is he okay? Thankfully, he re has recovered. Okay. He will graduate from high school next month and is not planning to attend college. He is a painter at an auto body shop and likely will pursue a career in that. We're recommending he max out a Roth for this year and the next two years. That leaves him approximately $80,000 to potentially save for a shop of his own, future home, or in to invest. Since he's already 18, we don't have control of the money, shucks, but we want to encourage him to be smart with it. He wants to make good choices with it as well. If this were your son, what would you recommend? Okay, so first of all, I'm so glad that he recovered fully from the accident. Second, you're on the right path with the Roth year after year after year, not just uh, for a three-year cycle. Your son should keep putting money into the Roth year after year, even though you may use, he may use part of this money for a down payment on a house, buy a shop, whatever, because the Roth gives you this great advantage. The money grows tax-free and is spent tax-free if held till retirement age. But it also has a wrinkle that if he just keeps putting the money in and ends up not needing the money for a down payment on a house, it stays in. If he doesn't need the money to buy a shop, it stays in. And then it grows tax-free forever. We're talking about a number of years to get a substantial amount of that money in a Roth, but it gets them in the habit of building up future retirement savings. Doing that at 18, man, it puts them on easy street down the road like you cannot imagine if he keeps doing that. 6500 a year is allowed to go in the Roth. If at some point, um, he way before he's taken all of that 100000 because we're talking about 14, 15 years to get it all in a Roth, he'll still have a lot of money in there that's not in the Roth that he can then use for a down payment on a house. He can use it for buying a shop. But let's say it eventually all gets in there and at some point he needs money to buy a shop or buy a house. He can withdraw his contributions, none of his earnings, but his contributions tax and penalty free. So a Roth can be both a intermediate term savings account and a long term tax free investment account for retirement. It can play both roles in his life. In the meantime, what should he do with that cash? So if he's putting money into the Roth each year, the money that is outside the Roth, um, probably um, half of it could go in because of the number of years it would be till. He could put that money in. Half of the remainder could go into uh, a simple index fund or balanced fund. Uh, just go on Investopedia and read what a balanced index fund is. And the other half should go into simple, a simple savings account at today's best interest rates, which right now would be somewhere uh, four point something percent. That would be the quickest back of the envelope thing I could say. But the most important things you shared, you have a son who's very industrious. You have a son who doesn't want to blow this money, wants to build a future for himself, which is priceless. But the most priceless thing of all is he was injured in an accident and has made a full recovery. And what an exciting